get the email and we'll actually be live-ish uh, while I social media the hell out of us. So. Yeah, just uh, give me a second. Yeah. Alright, I'm back, I'm back. Um, I am not seeing any of these social media updates. I'm working on it. Give me a minute. Oh. I, I thought you were like me and you already had them typed in. Oh, hell no. When you were ready to fucking go. Yeah, I, uh, I pre-type all my social media stuff. And then get ready to go live, and then punch it in. But no, yeah, I don't. I'm I'm scrub at this. So okay. So that's everything. Actually, let me message somebody who was lamenting that he wasn't getting updates. Um. Okay. And now I've got Facebook closed. So, um, yet again for the VODs, uh, my name is Nick Latency, and I've got my good bud, Mike Psychotic Kelly, uh, here with me. And, and my mic is probably in a different position. <laughs> your mic is in a different position, or my mic is in a different position? Mine. I took my headset off and put it back on, so I'm not sure if that's going to fuck with the audio levels. I don't know. Your audio <laughs> seems to be coming through fine. Anyways, uh, we're scrubs at this streaming thing, and this is Nosgoth. <laughs> Um, here on the Sunday show. Uh, this is actually my first time ever launching the game, so I don't even know how to interface with it yet. Mike's been playing for a little bit, uh, and so uh, there's something about a tutorial here. So if I just click play, what does that do? Does that run the tutorial for me? No, you gotta click tutorial. Oh, I have to click tutorial. I wanna start the tutorial. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and I've only played the tutorial like a dozen times because I've been waiting for you know, you and others to get on, because this is a 4v4 game, there's no point in solo queuing. No, there's no point in solo queuing <laughs> in pretty much anything that's multiplayer. Use your mouse to look around. Hold WAZ to move. Oh, this is pretty stereotypical. Hold all the WAZ. <laughs> I was gonna say, I have a, I have a, uh, well, hilariously enough, I have a WAZ keyboard, um, V2, so I can actually hold all of the WAZ. <laughs> Is this infinite stamina? Can I just run forever? As far as I know, yes. Now I'm ready. Right now, button to aim down the side. No. Left to shoot. Shoot the highlighted targets. What targets are highlighted? Oh. terrible at this aiming thing. This is why I don't play shooters on PC. Well, no, correction. This is why I use pad to play shooters on PC, is because I am awful at the aiming thing. I know, scrub as fuck, but whatever helps you, whatever helps yeah. your execution. I'll give you that. That enemy doesn't actually attack until I hit the spacebar button. Aw, oh, what? <laughs> Middle mouse button to melee? What is this nonsense? It's the most sensible place to put it. Fantastic. 
It's like the Assassin's Creed. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> I love that, like, you, like I come out on your speakers, so every once in a while, whoa, hold right mouse button and press left mouse button. I missed the jump. <laughs> yeah, you have to full charge, and I would suggest aiming up. Yeah. Because I, I tried doing it on the level, and I fell short, like, 15 times yeah. consecutively. Combat. And I was like, I wonder if I aim up, if it'll work. Oh, cool. F is Matrix Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gas grenades. Oh. Oh, Fucked your shit up. Oh god, it's one of those. All the shots are still shots. Oh, you can't actually attack while in Matrix Dodge mode. No, you cannot. Oh, shut up, Hulk. There were a great officer. That was almost sport. Press X to. Oh, okay. What happens if you don't execute them? Do they get back up? No. Not that I'm aware of. They just stay there able to be executed. Because I know you can drag them for a while. But it's just a way for you to get health back and stuff. So. They might get back up. Who knows? <laughs> I haven't seen anything about that. Nobody has made a Reddit post about it. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, and you know Reddit, you can believe everything you read on the internet. Well, I tend to read stuff that's posted by the devs and community managers. Fair enough. Because Nosgoth has its own subreddit. Okay. Well, that was a tutorial. I'm gonna be fuck awful with this game. So... Uh, look here to join, I guess. I clicked there. Nothing happened. <laughs> it, oh. It's still showing you as invited. There we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yep. All right, the party system is working. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So, um, so we have to play new recruit four v four for now. Okay. Because we're we're not ranked ten yet. We're not ranked anything. I just started playing this game. You pretty much just started playing. Yeah. You ran the tutorial. Um, like seven times. <laughs> so I guess while we're waiting for the game to cue us, or you know, in between whatever, um, why don't we talk about some shit? <laughs> All right. Um, I was. Let's do it. Yeah, I was kind of joking that uh, this was going to be sort of like last week tonight, the uh, <laughs> the uh, zero tolerance show. But um, so let's let's start with the first thing that effectively started off the week, uh, as far as I was con or as far as I'm generally concerned. The first thing that kicked off this week. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, my favorite web series slash web show slash uh, informative video game VOD uh, the Jimquisition and our <laughs> and sorry uh, it's highlight of EA Access the subscription based service and our prophet Jim Sterling who predicted <laughs> the uh, the next you know rational route was that suddenly everybody was going to jump on this train and as I recall uh, specifically he said in the video that you know Ubisoft was going to want a piece of the pie and as I seem to recall, uh, correct me if I am wrong, that Ubisoft did want a piece of the pie by Monday when it came out <laughs> um, I, I don't honestly remember 
Ubisoft's involvement with this, so. Fuck, this game is loud as hell. Like, I clicked back into the window and it was really loud again. Yeah, good job. So, um, we may have some audio issues to deal with here in just a second. Apologize to anybody listening and any headphones or ears that we destroy. Um, alchemist or hunter? Uh, that's up to you. I got a hand cannon with the alchemist. Now, open them oh, all. and a female model. So, yep, this is my character. Um, options? Yeah, sorry about that. Audio. Save. Did you not save last time? I don't know. If the game audio becomes an issue, um, then whatever. Oh, okay, so the hand cannon is a grenade launcher. set a firewall between us and them. Okay, well that's just good for our survival. Yeah, that's good, right? For now. Ah, that sucks. Need a health station. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, dead so far, so that's impressive. Um, trying to grenade the fuck out of this guy. Oh god. Uh, flashbang or some shit. So, oh, anyways, um, I just thought it was funny almost immediately after the, um, the Resident Evil, uh, debacle that we had where Jim, you know, was like, you know, uh, PlayStation 4 has been out for so long and we still haven't seen them promote a new Resident Evil game, or sorry, a Resident Evil remake, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're like, Remake, remake, or I'm sorry, remake remastered is what I've taken to calling it. Um, the uh, Resident Evil One. Oh God, my face. The Resident Evil remake for the uh, PlayStation Three, and uh, that's my first death, surprisingly. Well, we're still one out. Yep. Oh. Take it too hard. They're going to uh, die. So I'm pretty impressed with Jim's ability to be predictive of the industry as it is right now. Um, although it really shouldn't be that hard, you should just assume whatever the dumbest possible idea that AAA publishers can do is what's going to happen. Give me fire! Light! Right. Oh, yep. Whatever that was. <laughs> Maybe me. Maybe him. I wasn't sure I don't if really it was you or the other person. I threw the firewall and then the flashback. All I know is I got jumped on from behind, yeah. so... Keep it tight. Watch our backs. Yeah. And we've got that one guy who's just like, I'm gonna run off by my... effective that is as a means of trying to actually disable them, but, oh god, get out of the smoke. Oh! Your love for me is like a truck. Ah! 
Oh god, my face. You go. That. I got jumped. Twice. <laughs> Bastards. I, I just got tagged. Like the first guy hopped off of me and the second one left right at <laughs> Oh god, my face. My face. It's going, going, going. Oh, fuck everyone else is over there. I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so hard. I, I'm at the station. You are low yeah, on you health. Have to Find a health up. station to refill. Um, it takes a couple seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm at it. Also, they have recharge timers. There's one right here, though. Yeah, no, I got it. We're good. Okay. Mom, I tried. I know you did. Enjoy yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Oh, I think that was actually a double kill. I think we killed each other at the same time. For those of you watching live, or for those of you that'll be watching the uh, VODs, I'm currently drinking to help enjoy this game. Um, because I've been wanting to do zero tolerance. Uh, well, <laughs> zero tolerance, the high tolerance edition, because I pretty much could go through a 12 pack and not really be. I legally wouldn't be qualified to drive, but I don't think I'd be having too good of a time. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I feel like drunk gaming is something that would go really well with us, our team. I mean, it has. We did uh, Drunk Oblo 3, uh, the VODs of which will be up approximately never because I'm cutting like six hours of video. Or I was cutting six hours of video into uh, 15 minute segments. We're verified on YouTube now, so these will start going, holy hell, these will start going live on YouTube more often. <laughs> Uh, exporting from Twitch, but, um, yeah, focusing on a game and talking at the same time is a bit of a difficulty, I'm sure anybody can ever run any kind of show. No, no. Yeah, I, surprisingly, this game's a, a lot better than I expected it to be. Uh, yeah, it's not total Balance shit wise. right now, like, it's... It seems to be very, um, or rather, it reminds me a lot of natural selection, but only in the aspect of, you know, like an asymmetrical shooter, and not in the aspect of yeah. being aliens versus marines, or even feeling like it's ripping off any mechanics from that game box. No! No! Well, we're still winning, so say, yeah, I'll take that. I have no idea what my KDR is right now. Um, looking at oh, four two. That's your four and two. That's yeah. positive, which is good for a game I've never played before. Yeah. Well, I mean. On a keeping it real level, like most of the people we're in with haven't played before either. You see how many level ones were in this game? Uh, yeah, like everybody except for one, one or two. Dudes. Yeah. Hold that. that. Hold all of that. I'm also a fan of how to so, find the rooftops and shit. You gotta just hold at it. Yep. It makes things interesting. Oh. Can't see shit. Oh, I backed into a wall. Good shit. For the I too am running for the health station. I wish I could. Z I wish I could zoom the perspective out a little bit more. Uh, 
Um, because while I can actively see things, it's slightly difficult. I don't know, it seems to be fairly standard third person. I'm not saying it isn't, I'm just saying that I'd like it to zoom out a little bit yeah. more. Well, I took the tire, so now we just gotta deal with Is that actually called the tire? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Half time. So yeah, uh, reminds me a little bit of natural selection, uh, just in terms of, you know, the, uh, the asymmetrical gameplay and all of that. Um, oh, shoutouts to my buddy in chat right now. The frame rates on stream aren't playing too nice, but it's still watchable. The frame rates on the game aren't playing particularly nice either. Uh, so, Reaver and Tyrant. Um, I'm gonna go with Tyrant, because that's what I do. I play big smashing me, classes. Me too. <laughs> I almost went Sentinel, but it's too easy to pick up out of the air. We've got three tyrants in a set. <laughs> we have no reverse. <laughs> I'll have to switch uh, on my next death. I feel like the mechanic here is almost kind of like left for dead. E in the aspect of as a human, if you stay together, it's pretty easy to. Uh, Pretty easy to survive with the combined firepower of everybody. Whoa, I'm getting shot at. Oh, found him. But it's, it's also vaguely mobile E with, you know, everyone's got their and, uh, uh, what's the charge? Disabled mechanic and shit. character? Uh, right. Right mouse. Okay. I mean. Oh, just hold right mouse. Yeah. If you end it early, the cooldown is lower. Gotcha. Battle waits. Ouch. Uh, loadouts. Reaver. Holding shift does absolutely nothing with this character. With the iron? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make you faster, but it does let you climb walls. It looks like our teammate clipped outside the walls. We're good on him. Somehow. You want war? You've got war. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Running commentary. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Look at look at Pierce Zero clipped outside the. Nice. <laughs> the walls here. <laughs> Completely removed from the game. <laughs> He got what's like completely removed from the freaking game for everybody. Yeah. Come on, you bastards. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't just like shoot him through the wall. <laughs> I don't know if they can. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm just saying. So what does the F function do with being on fire? Because it seems to disable my attacks, which I'm uh, and also probably damage per second. I found him! I found everybody and now I'm dead. I am very, I very that. dead. I died too, but I think I took out three. I was gonna yeah. say, my uh. End never coming back zone. Thank you, Brett. This 
I should have pulled up stream chat, but can't right yeah, now. Yeah, no worries. I was gonna say, are you still logged in as the main account? No, I'm not. I logged out. That was a pretty good I logged out explicitly for this stream. Nick needs to start executing people so he don't die. Yeah, see, I haven't quite figured out the mechanic of this game yet. <laughs> That's our version of health and ammo station, is eat people. Well, whatever, we seem to be winning anyway. I have absolutely I've got zero. Fifty percent of the team's that. kills. That's why. What's that? You got you got eight assists. I've got eight kills. <laughs> it's it's really us carrying the team right now. <laughs> yeah, since uh, pure zero doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> Jammed in that wall over there. Okay, so the tyrant not as buff as I would hope. Uh, let me try a reaver, I guess. You have you have an ignore pain skill. Yeah, but I can't do anything while I'm ignoring pain. It's useless. Um, continues. Yeah. What did the F skill do again with this? Oh, you said. Oh, right. The ground pound. No, I meant with the reaver. Oh. Uh. Your zero just typed in chat, kill me, sad face. <laughs> Wish I could, broski. Yeah, okay, not digging on the reaver, so back to Tyrant it is. Victory must be taken. I mean, it does also kind of have that NS feel of the, uh, the ranged superior firepower kind of, um, enemies. Flipping out of bounds. Uh, how do I pick E? There we go. I think it's E to pick them up. It's X, X to execute, if I remember correctly. Oh god, my face. All of my faces. I didn't even really need that help. Now I need all of the help. Oh, okay, so if you jump in the ocean, you just die. <laughs> that was like a completely accidental um, suicide Death. there. But we shall have victory. I like the sentinel, but it's not my thing. Yeah, apparently you have to unlock the sentinel or something. Uh, yeah. Unlockable classes, you get 35 levels, but you know, I bought one of the more expensive packs. I get free access to the scout and just give him the sentinel. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, 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 die. You got 13 health. Oh, okay. It does regenerate over time until someone explodes you with your arrows. I'm gonna refresh the stream page real quick. Oh, motherfucker. Don't. 
I don't want you to stop. Christ. I'm trying to get Twitch to cooperate with me. It's having a hard time. It doesn't matter because this is all going to get muted later anyway because, you know, I'm singing or some shit. <laughs> We were three kill up in uh, round one, so as long as we don't lose too badly here, we're good. Fight and die, a warrior. Well, we're even. So that's like not losing too badly. Go hang out by Pure Zero. Aww. Yes! Still got it. Barely. Yep. But we got it. So yeah, um, Reaver, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that Twitch will ever tell me anything other than excellent for stream broadcast quality. Um... It's probably the uh, the game that's um, yeah. I'm gonna see you know the game frame rate that's giving you issues. Yeah. I'm you should see. be able to turn the settings down without leaving the lobby. Yeah. Uh, V-sync, anti-alias, FOV, max FPS, details. Let's go with high details. Um, oh I really God. don't need motion blur or dynamic shadows. Or lens flare. Nobody needs lens flare. <laughs> I am... I have locked myself out of my game. <laughs> what did you do? I tried to alt-tab out, but the game is still there, and it's got my mouse locked to that monitor. <laughs> oh, because you're on, um... You're probably running uh, full screen, huh? Yeah, okay, so but I can't click back into it so or anything. So I should anything. find a way to leave that game, right? Yeah. There's an exit button at the bottom right. I'm trying to find... Okay, my... How do I, how do I get back to the game that I'm technically in? Uh, I don't know. Because I clicked on the home page, but now I'm like in a different page, but if I click on status, which is waiting for more, I can't, I can't do anything. What happens? Okay, I click the play button hmm. again. Exit. There we go. Yeah, I am completely locked out. So you should probably, you know, like, control, Oops. delete, or some shit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna check shit out. 5, duration 6, damage reduction 80%. Ground slam, really useful. Charge is awesome. Stole my cursor. <laughs> huh? Oh, I opened it back up and I, I, I had not finished, uh, loading into the Twitch page yet. So I'm gonna change that uh, window setting. Yep. And, uh, I mean that might be what's kind of dropping the frame rate a little bit for me is because I run everything borderless windowed or anything that can be run borderless windowed. Yeah well also it was your first time playing it and you didn't touch the settings at all. <laughs> I don't know. I 
I'd like customizable class genders. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it is still fairly early in beta. Yeah. There's not a single female vampire, so... There weren't very many in Legacy of Kane either. I'm just saying. I know. I know what you're saying. I'm just... Okay, so I'm looking at my player stats, right? And it says suicide zero. I wonder if there's like a slash kill or like a... Uh, there's a jump into the fucking water yourself. and die. Well, yeah. But no, I'm just... I'm wondering if there's a button or something that uh, our friend could have pressed oh. to uh, get himself out of that yeah. wall. Are you back in the game? Because I just clicked to uh, join you. Yes, yes, I am back in the game. I'm. Uh, I was just looking at control bindings. I'm trying to join you. I don't know if it's working. Uh, home. You're in a lobby. There's an invite. Status authenticating. What the fuck that means? Oh, there we go. So Okay, there we go. Back in a party. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Um, so we loosely discussed, or at least I brought up the fact that, and I'm going to verify that real quick. Uh, Okay, well, while you look that up, Gamescom, how about that? I was going to say, yeah, more, that was... More news out of that in a day than all of E3. <laughs> yeah. That was... Ow. Okay, that's just pressing into the side of my head. <laughs> and no, the answer is okay. not Gamescom. Sorry. Not, not really used to wearing that kind of earrings. So... Thin metal things poking into the side of my head. Um, yeah, how about the Gamescom? Um, I didn't pay the utmost attention to it, but let's talk about some shit. Um, the first of which, I, I think the big one that's kind of not really the elephant in the room, but the thing that we all want to talk about, is uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and its Xbox One quote-unquote exclusivity. <laughs> It's exclusivity or lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on who you ask. Entirely. <laughs> I bet I bet you Square Enix is really gonna be happy with uh, the sales numbers on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I told you to do better, and you did worse. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, for anybody who hasn't been following Gamescom or hasn't been following gaming news at all, uh, and it you're one of those people, I don't know how you stumbled across us and this channel, um, but uh, the sequel to the 2013 Tomb Raider reboot properly, uh, or I should say improperly titled just Tomb Raider, um, the... Or, or also known affectionately as Tomb Raider sales failure. Yeah, the game that Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics, you know, universally decided was a failure in terms of sales numbers um it's sequel <laughs> the, <laughs> the sequel to the game that square enix and crystal dynamics decided failed miserably uh rise of the tomb raider which i think we're going on a backwards ass naming scheme here if you were a Tomb Raider already, and now you're rising to become a Tomb Raider, the, your, your titles are ass backwards. Um, I believe Rise of the Tomb Raider got sort of a trailer debut at E3, and at Gamescom it was declared an Xbox One exclusive, uh, with exclusives in enormous quotation marks depending as to who you're talking to. Now, I for one, I'm of the belief that in this current generation, the way things are so nebulous right now with whether or not it's even really worth purchasing a next-gen console, 
Um, I think exclusivity is kind of a joke right now. Like, unless you own the studio, then I would not be surprised if they did not make the game just for you. Like, obviously, <laughs> Sony owns Naughty Dog. Uncharted is a PS, like, is a PlayStation franchise. It's going to be continue to be PlayStation exclusive. They own Santa Monica Studios. Any God of Wars that come out are going to be PlayStation exclusive. So, um, or what little is left of Santa Monica. Shout out. Sorry, guys. Um, so, console exclusive? That's kind of low. <laughs> hey, man. I, I, I did a write-up about how much, how much dumb shit Sony had been doing, or had been happening over at Sony, and so, uh, I might not like the God of War games, but they're this enormous titular fucking championship franchise on the PlayStation. You know, they, the the fucking discs print money over there, and so for them to turn around and downsize Santa Monica I was like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Um, Remember when the big titles at Sony used to be Crash and Spyro? Fuck yeah, I those do. were the days, right? And then those became non-console exclusive, and quality went down tenfold. Yeah. So. <laughs> Shoutouts to Skylanders, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, Rise of the Tomb Raider was announced. How about that? <laughs> Rise of the Tomb Raider was announced as an Xbox One exclusive. Uh, depending on who you talk to at Gamescom, and wow, we are stuck at this screen for fucking ever. What? The waiting for host screen? That's what I mean. Main menu? I'm looking at the waiting for host. Oh. You're in the party. I haven't I haven't queued us up yet because you've been talking. Oh. <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> so I've been talking because I thought we Should were, I have queued us up? I, I've been talking because I thought we were waiting for the game to do shit. <laughs> oh no, you you were just going on this long rant, so I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna queue us up yet because we're gonna get stuck in the middle of this conversation and, and he's not gonna pick a class and we're gonna have all kinds of problems in game. Well we're so. gonna have all kinds of problems in game, but just queue us up for some shit and I can continue talking. Um about okay. Res the Tomb Raider and its Xbox yeah, so, uh, and exclusivity. Uh continue. Can can we stop calling it Rise of the Tomb Raider and just call it uh Sales Failure Two Fail Harder, please? Shoutouts to Die Hard for the title scheme, by the way. Tomb Raider 2, Raid Harder. <laughs> <laughs> Which what? sounds a lot better than Tomb Raider no. 2, Tomb Harder. Oh, Jesus. Nope, I'm gonna Q-dodge that. I'm gonna go back to the home screen. You got bounced out of the party. Sir. Interesting. <laughs> So I, I went to queue us up, and I was the only one who made it to the lobby. <laughs> That's authenticating me again. Um, okay. So, Tomb Raider 2013 2, uh, and its exclusivity. The problem is that it's not really exclusive, and that no, unable to join friends' lobby. Authentication has failed. Okay. Uh, lol? Let me see if I can join yours. It says your joinable lobby has been shut down. Please try again later. Um, I uh, maybe try rebooting it. Yeah, I, I, was gonna I say, am aware this is a an issue that so happened. So guys, give us a brief minute here uh, while I set up the loading next game, or uh, we'll be right back. Close out of the thing. Anyways, I can continue to rant because uh, the away message is technically up right now. So, depending on who you talk to at Gamescom depended entirely on whether or not, you know, the game was going to be exclusive. Uh, predominantly what I wanted to talk about was how um, Crystal Dynamics came out to its fans and said, you know, we're Xbox exclusive, we're going to enjoy all the money that Microsoft is going to give us for this game. Uh, if you're a fan of the Tomb Raider franchise, we don't want to, you know, leave you empty-handed, so please check out Tomb Raider and the Temple of Osiris, aka Gauntlet Raider, and um, if you still are looking for something... Gauntlet Raider 2, my bad. Uh, and if you're still looking for something with that Tomb Raider 2013 flavor, uh, please go play the HD remake of the exact same game we released last year. Um, which certain people were like, oh, hey, well, you know, at least they're acknowledging their fan base and trying to keep people happy. And I was like, oh, hey, guess what? That's like them saying, fuck you, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sucks. 
Um, <laughs> we did have this conversation, or at least I had this conversation. It might not have been with you, but... Um, so yeah, that was like them saying, um, you know, Microsoft's giving us all this money, and to everybody else who likes the franchise and doesn't own an Xbox One, um, hold that and play these games that aren't Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, and so some people were appreci- and some people were appreciative of this, <laughs> and other people like me were like, that's not inclusive, that's you pretty much telling us Microsoft gives us more money, get fucked. Um, and I wasn't at all pleased with this. Um, I was actually kind of frustrated because I was going to play Rise of the Tomb Raider. I will still, because, again, um, console exclusivity is a joke in this generation, and uh, go ahead and queue us up now. Console exclusivity is a joke in this generation, and if you listen to any of the big three, I'm sorry, of the big four, and by big four I mean Microsoft, Sony, Activision, or sorry, not Activision, Microsoft, Sony, Ubisoft, and EA, because Activision, for whatever reason, doesn't have a press conference at anything, because Bobby Kotick just wants to wave his Call of Duty cock around? I don't fucking know. Um, anyways, uh... If you listen to the Big Four, it's pretty much all about timed exclusives. It will be hitting first on this console. It will be hitting first on this console. It will exist originally on this console. And then we're going to port it to everything else because the developers working for us actually like money and don't want to limit their profits based on, you know, potentially excluding other people. Which I think is pretty cool in terms of, like, the whole development, I like seeing more games on more platforms. Because I feel like, as a gamer, console exclusivity is what f is one of those things that frustrates me a lot. Anything that's exclusive to one console or the other is really frustrating uh, for two reasons. Number one, it's frustrating because what if I didn't, you know, what if I liked the specs of this but you know, something else that I will, I, I would be happy to give them $60 for Sunset Overdrive. I really would. But the Microsoft Xbox One is a lying failure machine. And I don't want a lying failure machine. Shoutouts to Jim Sterling. Um, and so, you know, I, I get frustrated by that. I also get frustrated by console exclusives because then that means it doesn't show out on PC, which is the universally better console anyway because of its modular ability and capabilities to upgrade and stay current with uh, technology. So shout-outs to the glorious PC Gaming Master Race. That guy's name is M. Night Shamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> He's my new favorite person on Steam right now. <laughs> Fuck him, he doesn't like waffles. Waffle eating master race. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of my lobby. Okay, well, that was almost a game. <laughs> um Yeah. What? By all means, please do talk about Dive Kick 2 scrotal trauma. Because I'd like to hear about this. Yeah. So we'll see uh, 
if that if that becomes a thing. I was almost convinced that Dive Kick was just gonna be like constantly patched for free with more characters added as time went on. So Um Let's see, what other shit do we have to talk about? We have this game to talk about, um, just by the way, in case... Ooh, I like hashtag Captain Asshole. <laughs> um, this game that's really fucking loud during the countdown, but I think volume on the rest of it is fine. Yes, the game we're actually playing. Um... Okay. <laughs> so hitting exit. Oh, you're not in the party anymore. <laughs> Do you need to close out? <laughs> like, does your client need to reboot? Um,. For anybody just turning in, this is this is Nosgoth the Nubening. Um it's it's in closed beta. Uh it will soon be in open beta. It had an open beta weekend. Uh it's very much in beta beta because I can't fucking load anything and I think yep, the away message is still up. Wow, I fail at streaming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so people have just heard you talking to yourself, even while I was explaining Dive Kick 2 scrotal trauma. And they're like, what the hell is wrong with this madman? I'm gonna take a minute to, um... <laughs> to laugh at Get myself. sober up. <laughs> no, to laugh at myself. Um, and then we're effectively going to come back with uh, Hour 2 of the Sunday Show, where I don't leave the away message of me rebooting my client up. <laughs> And I would also suggest rebooting your client again. <laughs> I will do the same. <laughs> yeah, so back to the intermission. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Heads up, this show might run till 8 o'clock tonight because I'm an idiot. Also might want another beer. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm streaming. There's there's actual shit on the stream now. Um. Yay! <laughs> That's a market improvement. Yeah. Hey, guy in chat, why did you not tell us? Uh, because guy in chat is no longer in chat. <laughs> I just pulled up the viewer list in the pop-up chat, and it said he was there. Oh. So. Well. Yeah. So for There's anybody just now tuning Super in, Super Smith eighty nine in our chat. Yeah. So for anybody just now tuning in to my uh, disgusting failure at running a stream, uh, this is the Zero Tolerance Sunday Show, currently called uh, Sanguine Sunday this week. Uh, my name is Nick Latency. I'm here with Michael Psychotic Kelly, and I apparently don't know how to take down an away message. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to go up as uh, two separate VODs or one, but I this might just turn into a completely separate show right now because I'm fucking terrible at this. Um, things that we've already discussed uh, while I was fucking up the stream, and I'm checking repeatedly to make sure that I am actually streaming this. Um, things that we've already talked about, EA Access and uh, Jim, our prophet Jim Sterling who predicted the rise of subscription services, um, Rise of the Tomb Raider and its Xbox One exclusivity or lack thereof and how we should appreciate them for bringing Gauntlet Tomb Raider 2 and a HD remake of last year's game to uh, modern consoles. And fuck that countdown is really loud but hey, hey it a launched a game! <laughs> um, 
I wonder which side we'll get first. Yeah. Oh, we got humans first again. That's cool. We're actually playing. I'm sorry. I'm still currently in mourning over all of the footage that I effectively just lost because I'm an idiot. <laughs> there, there were well, some golden. We've moments never there. gotten to a game, and a lot of it was just you talking, yeah. and you talking still comes through fine on the away message. So we didn't really. really yeah. Well, I'll I'll check it out in the um in the recorded footage that everything saves to my hard drive. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm running out on my own. This is a terrible idea because I only have a uh, grenade launcher. So I don't want to be anywhere near that smoke cloud. I ended up hitting the smoke cloud. Bad times. Coming up behind us, I think. Because they are no longer in front of us, mostly. I just feel like that would be the, the best course of action for them. Other than that, it is going to be slow to be with the uh, King Deathloop. Ah, out. Really quickly. Out. Uh oh. Dead. Oh no, I just got a guy on my face. I will very shortly be dead. Yep, like that. Uh, so I keep getting mind control. They're already up. I didn't <laughs> know that was a thing. I will find you, vampires. Yeah, it's uh, the deceiver class. Getting mind control. Sad. Marching me towards them. <laughs> I got another one. And I'm dead. Probably should have gotten some health. Wow, we are getting full bodied right now. Oh yeah. We are straight getting fun. Which is good because you, me, and one other guy have the only kills on the team. They're the evil looking things. I find it funny that. Whoa! I find it funny that the deceivers are using their mind control to push us to other guys. That's a lot of assist kills, I think. Seems like it would be a fun class to play though. Oh, I'm dead. The dead. Tried to save a dude, didn't work out so well. Trying to find dudes. <laughs> I am being controlled by a deceiver. He's walking me backwards. Oh, good times. And now he's dead. And I'm being killed by a deceiver. 
I could find the deceiver, I would help you a lot better. Well, they've got two, so... I can't see a thing. My texture's never loaded back in properly. Oh, oh or they marked me into a smoke I got pack. fucked trying to get to a health station. Same here. We are just getting properly boned right now. Like, there is no other wording for what the hell is going on. Well, they certainly out-level us, so I can understand the skill of the difference. Like, they've got a 9, 2, 8, and a 4, versus 3, 2, and a 3. Skull fucked a deceiver and then got bodied by a reaper running to the hell station. Okay, so other things to talk about. Um, um, how about that uh playable teaser? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, yeah, that was that was next up on my list of things to talk about, uh, courtesy the of Gamescom, of is, uh, P.T., the playable teaser for Silent Hills, as in multiple, as in more than one, as in why, wow, why does that have, like, fucking hitbox registry of all over the fucking place? Fuck off. I will walk through the fire and die instead of getting killed by your bitch ass. Um, yeah, the playable teaser for Silent Hills, uh, um, by Guillermo del Toro and, uh, Hideo Kojima, teaming up to revive the Konami franchise, uh, survival horror franchise. That um, Konami you want to kill. Yeah, the Konami, <laughs> the Konami themselves killed, um, I feel like mostly by having, uh, by pretty much outsourcing the fuck out of that Westerners game. Westerners work on it. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. By having Westerners work on it. I'm trying. I can't really control these grenades. I'm trying. I need a health station badly. There's one right here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forget there's a dodge roll in there. Not that it doesn't roll. Yeah. I mean, its eyes are limited, but they're there. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, Westerners have already killed that game once, um, I feel like, uh, I'm already not looking forward to, um, what, what was my favorite phrase to use for that game, uh, was it Silent Hill Solid Guns of the Pyramid Head? Something like yeah, that. I'm really, really not itching to play that game. Uh, I've had one of my friends already on, um, Facebook try and tell me, uh, how good it looks, slash plays, slash sounds. What, what do you mean, plays? Isn't it just a giant interactive cutscene? You know, it's hilarious because... I've heard multiple times from multiple people that, like, nobody has finished it, or nobody has, a, like, a YouTube recording of them finishing it. Which I think is kind of outrageous. Like, how, how do you, how do you not, how do you fuck that up? Strong man. Sorry, all of my everything is on like permanent cold. You're getting blown out. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, well, we made a solid attempt. They hit the kill cap. Now all we have to do is yeah. body the ever living fuck out of them. Which is just not gonna happen. Yep. I concur. Um, and we had somebody leave too. Nice. That's great.
So yeah, um, I don't know. I'm really not looking forward to the game. Uh, I still feel like... Like, there's this part of me that just does not trust Westerners with the Silent Hill franchise because, you, you know, we know how to do horror so well. Like, psychological horror. No, Westerners have no fucking idea how to do psychological horror, and if you need further proof than, like, my word, go look at the Paranormal Activity series. It's just all jump scares. Like... No. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna say, uh, Americans don't have any idea. That's probably true. The lot best, like, psych a lot of come out of Italy and... That's true. Okay, I'll uh, give you that. Westerners can do it fun, just not Americans. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so putting Guillermo del Toro on this and Hideo Kojima and uh, anybody who's ever talked to me will know that I'm really not a big fan of the Metal Gear series. Uh, it's not for lack of trying, I'm goddamn sure. Uh, like, I just don't enjoy it. Any wow, I literally just exploded and I don't really know why. I had like 1200 health going in there. So, um, and it's, you know, it is in part just due to Kojima's genre, like, tactical espionage action. Yeah, I don't dig on stealth fucking anything. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm playing the big, beefy, smash your face class right now. What, the one to get rid of the away message on the stream? No, I, I've made sure, like, multiple times that I've already done it. Okay. So. Yes, this is fucking slaughter. Although, for whatever reason, we're doing better than last time. Doing that. Doing what? Trying to look at the scoreboard while also like climbing buildings. Cause hey, it's shift and tab. Also, you and I are the only ones with kills on our side this That's game. That's fantastic. And we finally got a fourth player, so yep. that is also fantastic. Found him. Got bullet. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I smoke bomb. Oh, he has a friend. On the other side. He has all the friends. Well, I was inside the building. Oh, did you manage to uh, get the fuck out of there, or did you get body too? No, I got the fuck out of there. I figured that might be useful somehow. Well, I was eating her, and then I was a red paste. Makes sense. Fight so, uh, which longer do we have in this? About five minutes, yeah. Yeah, about five and a half. Where 
Where did I, where did I go? Not where did they go, where did I go? That was a terrible place to be. Considered not really digging on the vampire franchise or uh, franchise, the uh, vampire faction here. It might just be the class I'm playing. It might just be because no. the other classes I have I don't like. It might just be the uh, skills you've got right now. Yeah, you scary too. Eat a guy? There's to be a guy left for me to eat right Nope. Nope, they ate all the guys. Fuck you too. Now now it's not just kill stealing, it's health stealing, and that's bullshit. Yeah, not digging on the vampire. Yeah, but that's why it's a team-based game. Yeah. I, I I think if we brought a pre-made in, like if we got Jason playing and you know some other people, considering I've still got like eight more fucking days, we'd be having a much better time. Fuck but that. Even then, with, with only two of us on team, it's not bad. So it's just it's just how I feel about the vampires. I mean, humans are fine. I'm good with that. Um, they Five another two minutes and forty-five seconds without having to go to the bathroom. Uh, actually, at that, I'm gonna take a leak real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay.
said, did we lose that one, like, terribly? Yeah, we did. Okay. We got bodied. So. I think you also got kicked. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't seem to be in a party anymore. Yeah, I think you got kif kicked for being AFK. Interesting. So it has twice told me that the open beta is coming this summer and then this winter. Uh, it's this winter. Okay. I know that for a fact. Uh, if you want to send a... Post beta live now, open beta coming this winter. Yeah. Invite. There we go. Invited. Um. Yeah, there's, there's more classes coming and item crafting and all... All kinds of many things. Yeah. So we talked. Uh, we talked about Rise of the Tomb Raider. We talked about uh, PT and Silent Hills. Yeah. Um. What else? What else do we have to talk about this week? Um. Um, I don't know. Let's let's briefly talk about uh about speed running. Oops. Might as well. Dropping shit all over the I've place been, right here. I've been I've been wanting to do like an article on that for the longest time, but I mean I just never got around to it. I'm still in like crippling fear of actually creating a decent article ever since I tried to write about E3 and everything was just terrible. But that that I think stemmed entirely from the fact that E3 was just terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it was. So, um, yeah, let's talk about speedrunning. And speaking of which... Um... So, I have I have made the unfortunate decision to speedrun Devil May Cry 2 in all its categories. As far as I can tell right now, there's actually 14 different categories to be run. Uh, and the game has no, um really beneficial glitches that that save you any time it is uh entirely just a hot mess of play through this awful game <laughs> and i don't understand why you would want oh, hey. to do that to yourself did we not launch or am i just stuck in lobby uh no um we didn't launch or at least you and i didn't launch it says intermission okay, there down we go. at the bottom. Go back in intermission. Well, before that, it just said players eight, and it had already done a countdown. So gotcha. So yeah, um, uh, I picked that because I plan on I plan on running the series, and uh, I figured I'd start with the easiest one first. Which, let's face it, Double My Cry so. Two was the easiest of the entire series on the whole. It was also the most despised of the entire series on the whole. Yeah, so not only is it easy to play, it's easy to get world record in. Yeah! <laughs> because no one wants to play that terrible fucking game. Yeah. Um, Let alone play it repeatedly. Except except me. I do it. Because, uh, fuck me, I don't know why. <laughs> Basically, yeah, that, that seems to be about the reason. Um, I've really wanted to pick up pick it up. Um, I have way too many hobbies to be any halfway decent at any of them. Um, I haven't played Street Fighter in like two and a half weeks now. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that We didn't launch again, by the way. God damn it. I think this lobby's the broken one. Alright, well. Uh, exit and just re exit lobby. Reinvite me. Oh, hey, look, yeah, I can yeah. get Team Deathmatch at level 3. Yeah. So. Um. I haven't played Street Fighter in two I, and a half I weeks. You an I haven't written a piece for Zero Tolerance Games in longer than that. And, um. Speedrunning was something that I was really interested in trying, and I've been in that odd category of trying to find something that I would be okay with playing. M like. An insane number of times on end. Uh, oh god, we got right back in the same lobby. <laughs> Maybe it'll launch this time. <laughs> um, hey, hold that thought. Alright. Uh, 
Uh, players eight. Failure to launch. Which is not just a terrible movie with... Christ. Whose bitch ass was in that dumb movie? It doesn't matter. It's some shitty chick flick. Anyways. I don't know. Leave in this lobby yep. again. <laughs> Gonna try to not get put back in the same Re lobby. Re-inviting. <laughs> um... So, sorry, uh, before we got horribly distracted by the game being dysfunctional. Uh, we were talking about speedrunning, so I'm in this terrible category of unable to join friends lobby. That's the terrible category that I'm in. Good <laughs> um, shit. Yeah. Uh, try inviting me one more time. Try. <laughs> okay. In this terrible category of like still still looking for the right game to run. Uh, the DMC series kind of interests me. I tried running Bastion, and the the problem I'm having is finding a game that I'm okay with playing a million times over, um, that I will actually, you know, continue to enjoy, uh, or will enjoy, you know, sort of trying to learn the game in the first place. Uh, I still can't join, so. Uh, pardon me. Invite you know me. what? I, I don't give a fuck. People can look at my desktop. It's just fucking Gladys anyway. So, uh, let me try relaunching this here from Steam that is in my I'm other monitor insane. that nobody can <laughs> see. Um, like, and basically, like, the thing I struggle with isn't just, you know, like, the game. It's the control scheme, too, because I really love Bastion. But the speedrun for Bastion is done on PC because the mouse controls for Bastion make that game effectively, make walking in that game effectively 30% faster. And I can't get over the mouse controls. Like, the mouse and keyboard controls, I beat that game on basic, like, WASD controls the first time over. Um, the controls that are used for completing the game quickly are basically like Diablo style controls. And it really just bothers me to try and play that game that way, especially because right click, or I'm sorry, left click is move. You hold left click to move and mash whatever key you have mapped to uh, to roll uh, in order to. God damn it! Where the fuck is your window? Steam's icon being a blue and white circle instead of like a gray and black square is throwing me the fuck off. <laughs> like really bad. Well you got into the party this time. I did. <laughs> and so yeah having to hold right click to move and then mashing uh, my setup with spacebar to uh, to roll was frustrating because then that leaves left click as attack and I have to map a keyboard button for my other uh, weapon it it didn't mesh well with my brain, and so. Oh hey, it's M Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. Yeah. And um, we got it. Yeah, gonna be a good one. So I'm convinced that we pretty much <laughs> just need to like close and relaunch the client every time in between games. Yeah, it might be that. It might be server side. Who knows? But like, because I noticed I had access to uh, TDM again, even though I'm only like rank three. Yep. But hey, we get to start human side this time. Yeah, we've started human side every time we've played actually. Oh, yeah, all, good call. all three games that we've made it through in like you know the hour and a half. The flames find my enemies. Right, this isn't one of those games where I can just you know like haul ass out into the middle of hell and start blasting people with my. You shotgun. can't do that in most games. You just choose to. <laughs> you know, there are very few people who can get away with that in Titanfall. You're not one of them. <laughs> I got bodied by M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. I was just pumped. And that other guy. Like, I... 
I ran it. I was trying to reload, and so I ran into a corner, and then I got plagued, and then I was trying to get out of the area as a whole, and then just got, you know, fucked. You know what? Fuck you, Superman. You don't know shit. You get taken down by a green rock. I am fully aware that my teammates cannot hear me. He says stay together, yeah. and he goes running off by himself. What a dipshit, I would just like to say. Yeah, no, the the only reason I got broken off from the group is because I was getting chased down and tried to roll out. That is it. it. Yep. Yes. Reloading. Uh, I'm getting kidnapped. Guys, Firebrand has my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you've, you've seen yourself. Yeah. Good shit. <laughs> Shoutouts to Nate Blanchett for kidnapping me with the unblockable. Free this town from vampires. <laughs> Shoutouts to Apology Man for firebrand unblockables. He did not do that. I'm well aware that he didn't. He was he was still playing Blazer when that was a thing. Ow! He just made it successful. Where's that health stage? I forgot there was one of those back around here somewhere else last time I checked. Over here? Yep. Wait a second, if there's two of them, there we go. There was a deceiver in our team. That was a bad time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I got you, bitch. <laughs> Bodied by M. Night Donald Big again. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Nope. The Jesmir is Superman fucking god awful. Um. Well. He is leading the team right now. Yeah. Let's that doesn't make him good. Nice. No, like, that makes From what him... I've seen, he likes to stand behind everybody and then wait till I. We were fighting and then die himself. That makes him fantastic at kill stealing. Yeah. Trying to regroup, but it appears that the group is dead. And there's all the vampires. Okay. Cow. I might have set myself on fire. I'm getting kidnapped. I can find you all if I found that. Nope, just getting straight body. Oh shit. Ow. Nope, dead. Got chased down by Reavers. Which, if anybody listening is a fan of the show Firefly, it sounds a lot scarier than it actually was in this game. Search this town for the damned. <sighs> so, um, a little bit more about Nosgoth, I guess. Uh, you were saying this game takes place in the Legacy of Cain series? Yeah. Of which I know very little, aside um. from the fact that there are... Uh, the Blood Omen games, there's Defiance, uh, which I guess supposedly crosses over Blood Omen and, uh, God oh, damn it. Sorry. Yeah. So, but other than that, there's, like, vampires and undead and shit. 
so why don't you talk a little bit about Legacy of Kane? Um. No stop will be free. Uh, as far as vampire games go, it's one of the better ones, even though it takes place in a universe of wibbledy wobbledy timey wimey stuff. Just by storyline reasons, uh, and then and then it really went to shit. <laughs> um, Approximately like, uh, when did it turn into shit? Uh, the sequels, Blood Omen Two, Old River Two. I haven't played Defiance to know if uh, that's any good. Blood Omen was was fantastic. Soul River One. Was different, but still pretty good, and and made sense. Um, and then and then the sequels to each sort of become this mess of time travel. All right, so far it's off to off to a good start. It's, it's been a while since I've played, uh, basically in the first one, um, in, in Blood Omen, you're a dude who gets killed, and you revive as a vampire, and you go up on this quest for vengeance, and it actually sort of, like, fucks up the, the entire continent, or planet, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, you know, the vampires start taking over shit, because apparently before you they were way too chicken shit. Uh, then in Soul Reaver it's like several hundred years in the future and the vampires run everything, and uh, there's a different guy who is supposed to have been killed by the first guy. Um, so he just horribly wounds you and throws you into the soul pit, so instead of drinking blood you now consume souls because you didn't die for whatever fucking reason. Like I said, it's it's not the easiest thing to try and explain quickly. But I explode. I distinctly remember um, when Soul Reaver 2... Or, I'm sorry, not when Reaver 2 came out, when Soul Reaver came out uh, on the Dreamcast, being like, this game seems so legit. It's, it's pretty good, but it kind of irritated me. Because I, I wanted to see more about Kane. And they're like, hey, you play as Raziel, and I'm like, who the fuck is Raziel, and why should I care? And they weren't able to really give me any other reason. So. That. that kill was mine. Shit, Captain. Still body to shummel on him. And that guy ate my kill. Whatever, I will eat one of these other kills. I will eat this guy too, just because. <laughs> I was already at max health. Because of proper teammates? Pretty much. We're doing all the work. For whatever reason, nobody in this room knows how to play a human. Because we're doing surprisingly well. Significantly better than I would have thought after that bodying session that we just dealt with. Yeah. Quite literally nobody. All eight of us are failures at playing humans. Yeah. Oh, see, so yeah, I see him. We 
Y'all come out of that alive, more or less. Yep. That's the price of rebellion. Rough, that was successful. Yep. In the back. Sort of. They're near here. Yep. I was getting shot. I am a true warrior. You die, don't you? That guy too. Shit. What's up, monster? Oh, no, I'm good. Cool. We are still streaming. I have to check that every once in a while now. Cool, cool. Make sure that I'm not a body. Sure that I'm not just blowing smoke up my own ass with a uh, away screen up. <laughs> oh no, it's better than falling asleep with an away screen. Ah, uh, you only did that once. Wow, did I get like head sniped? What the fuck happened? Like I had a bunch of health and then I didn't. Victory must be taken. So yeah, after all my complaining about the vampires in this game, uh, we seem to be doing fairly well. Fuck that bitch up. I mean, they're, they're also still working on the balance and stuff, so... I expect things to become normalized over some weeks. Particularly with the speedy and powerful. Like, for example, in my opinion, I like that my character literally just screamed unstoppable so that, you know, the uh, Unreal Tournament announcer didn't have to. Ow. <laughs> that was a triple kill. That was fantastic. I feel good about that. Lost, but only by two points, and we kill capped that round, so. Yeah, and they kill capped the first one, so, I mean, it's. I'm still pretty A okay yep. with that. So, um, I greatly considered this week going out and getting a, um, a webcam for this stream. Um,. Well, not specifically this stream, but for zero tolerance streams in the future and whatnot. Um, and another network cable so that I can both stream and... So that I can effectively stream things from my 360, because shoutouts to having like a first or second generation 360 and not having a Wi-Fi built in, and Microsoft wanting you to hold that and buy the uh, $100 shitty adapter that only sometimes worked with certain uh, networks. So... That sucks. Yeah. I mean, it's cool and all. Like, I kind of dig on having the old 360. I don't really like the new ones and the way that their hard drives function and that that awkward, like, four gigs internal memory. All that other weird shit. Yeah, but the new ones don't overheat as much. And, and to be fair, I'd rather pay, like... 75 bucks for a hard drive versus 100 for a Wi-Fi adapter. But yeah, you don't buy the Wi-Fi adapter because it's shit. You just get a cable. Yeah, I, I suppose. I mean, 
If I was going to stream off of the uh, PlayStation 3, I would drag it in here and I'd plug the cable into it. Well, only if you were playing something online on the... That's true. So, I guess if we were going to play Ultra and try and stream it, which would just be even worse, because I'd be throttling the fuck out of my connection more. So, yeah. okay, that's that's kind of a moot point, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, like I don't need to be wired up to play uh, DMC. I don't even need to be online to play DMC and stream it, so... So... One of these days we should we should do a stream where you're just just uh in chat with me where I attempt to play the Silent Hill HD collection. Oh god. That's gonna be interesting being, you know, like twenty to thirty seconds behind on Twitch lag. Or or we could do that one on Hitbox. We could do that one on Hitbox. Um I don't know how that's gonna work with the uh with the delay and everything. But yeah, we could give that a shot. Yeah. So. yeah. But it's just like, <laughs> dude, you're dropping frames. No, the game is dropping frames. <laughs> it does yeah. that. It's awful. Uh, the, I've actually forced it to uh, softlock. Awesome. Like, on a dozen occasions. Oh, two games in a row. Two proper. Nice. Look at that. I don't even think we've played the, this um, map either. No, we haven't. This map's uh, the newest map. But uh, no, the uh, the side story to uh, Silent Hill 2. That was only preview on the director's cut and stuff. Got it. You know what I found the other day while I was looking for my DMC4 disc? I found my PS2 copy of SH2. Nice. It's in my Resident Evil 4 box. <laughs> Search this town for the damned. Well, it's in my RE4 box, mostly because I don't have RE4 anymore. Um, the reason that I have, for anybody who watches this stream or has any questions for me as to why I have 10 million PS2 game boxes for games that I don't have anymore, um, I lost, like, a 32 CD, uh, case that carried a vast majority of my PS2 games, and instead of, um, you know, going and repurchasing a large percentage, I'm getting kidnapped going and repurchasing a large percentage of them, uh, I instead decided to go ahead and just uh, quote-unquote pirate copies, uh, of which you, I can legally say that they're not pirated. They are legitimate backups in case of things like this happening, where I have purchased the game and have duplicated them so that I have the game still. Um, it was really funny when a friend of mine went to a tournament at Denjin Arcade in which uh, Toshimichi Mori was attending. Uh, and got him to autograph my box of Accent Core, of which I had the legitimate copy, or I had the legitimate box for the game, um, but the disc inside was a burnt copy. And apparently they got That's some awesome. funny looks from Mori. <laughs> so, so that's a thing. Uh, don't get kidnapped. You got kidnapped. No, please don't put me down in there. Oh, well, this I got is, uh... Our uh, daily perk makes kidnapping not hurt us as much. 20% release more damage, yeah, I'm about that much. <laughs> Okay, so the position we've taken up is awful and uh, not very defensible, so why are we still over in that corner? Uh, because we hate life. Oh, except everybody else on the team so is dead. Lost. I am no longer going to that corner. Yeah, don't go to that corner. This map's kind of cool, though. I'm just going to hide out in this hallway. Yeah, this this map is pretty cool. Okay. Go get kidnapped! Goodbye! <laughs> Get off my face! Ah, uh, nope, they're on my face. I stayed in the acid well, The one that was on my face died. Yeah, me too. Yeah, killed by Superman, who currently has zero health. Yep. Same here. Let's free this town. Speaking of which, fuck that guy. 
Yeah. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. I have fucking idea. Like I just looked up and the other side map from everyone else on the team. Okay, good to know that the firewall does not go far. The flashbang does. I'll send more of you to the abyss. Ready. Not ready. Damn it! That literally just came off the window. Trying to firewall the ground. Didn't work. Fist vampires. Now you and I are doing all the work. That's usually how it goes. More so in Titanfall, but... Yeah. Which we haven't played in forever because... Because, uh, shoutouts to no patches... What the fuck they're doing. Yeah, shoutouts to patches that literally do, like, fuck all. Let's decrease the load time. Oh, hey, you made it longer. Good job, guys. Uh, this has pretty much been the cycle of, like, infinite hatred for Titanfall that Mike has gone through, is that... Every time Cap or Capcom, wow! Bastards. Every time a <laughs> respawn goes, oh, we fixed the load times. They end up being worse for you. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yep. Yeah, they're they're in this truly awful state where I loaded like two minutes after the match starts now. Which is the primary reason. Why I think that. Really? What gave you that impression? The fact that they have more than double our score? Pretty much, yeah. Exactly that. For night will cast out the shadow. I don't wanna get kicked yet. Then don't. Uh, incoming force of nature! Yeah. There's still a reaver here, guys. Uh, and now there's... That is dead. tiring. Ah, uh, no, kidnap! No, no! There's a blind tyrant, but it's still a tyrant. Is it a G tyrant or a T tyrant? The virus type is important. Yeah. Well, I got bodies, so I'm gonna go with G. Body too. I got bodied by the, uh, sentinel. He, he did that fly on fly shit on me. Shh. Which is hilarious oh, because he actually. Oh, wow. Did. He's gonna get this asshole off me. Ah, uh, come on. Respawn, though. Give me a second. I like everything about this character except for how fucking long it takes to reload this gun. <laughs> also, the fact that I can't. You probably uh, another version of it in the story. I'm gonna get kidnapped. kidnapped. For a faster fire. It's okay. I got bodied by tyrants. Two tyrants. So this is obviously the key game, you know, the second playthrough. Shout out, sorry too. Yeah, I was actually curious, uh, what, what was it about Nemesis that made it not a tyrant? I know they're out there. Uh, uh, I don't know, really. Lots of things, I guess. I'm really not <laughs> sad about Superman. Like the One less vampire. I'm gonna be real sad if I get <laughs> stepped on here. And I did. I'm a little sad Superman kills me. That's what I mean about that. You get away with 30 health. Aww, oh, Yep. Uh, 
But it's okay, we can turn this one around. Maybe. Probably not. Possibly. I don't have any faith in us. This map seems to favor vampires, so I'm okay with that. If if they're if they're sentinels. I could be a sentinel. I'd rather be a reaver, personally. I don't know, I I thought we were having more trouble with the uh two tyrants than the uh sentinels. That's probably true. Uh the one sentinel, I mean. That's probably true. One would rush and then he'd stand up and then the other one would shoulder rush us and it was bad times. Battle wins. Bad times abound. Why the fuck are you already on the opposite side of the map? I really have no Which idea. Where you spawned? Or? That's where it spawned me. Box us. <laughs> Like, I know this statue is supposed to be game, but all it makes me think of is the, uh, the dude from the Warriors. Oh, I look found at the statue, and in my, in my head I hear, can you dig it, like, six times. I think that's too man. Found him, got killed. Yeah, I see that. I killed Superman, did some damage. So being a tyrant doesn't actually make you anywhere <laughs> remotely resembling semi, uh, beefy. Uh, you have slightly more health. Yeah. Yeah, I... no, that, that statue reminds me of Cyrus. I press the button now I'm gonna die. Yeah, that, that moment where you press F instead of Q because you're really, really not used to this game's awkward controls. Slightly awkward. Show them your skin. It's MOBA meets FPS. It's not terrible. It could be worse. It could be a MOBA. And symmetrical and awful. <laughs> Guy. Instead, we had to get bombed on because somebody's retarded. I was trying to eat a guy and get bombed on because the guy behind me was also trying to eat the same guy and not watching our six. And then when I died via explosion, he continued to eat the same guy that killed me. There's one. I mean, at least health regenerates fairly well when, uh, I Okay, uh, that's certain bug. A lot of cooldowns and a lot of ability accessible for, like, combinations. Because dashing in with charge is fantastic, but if your, uh, ground slam isn't ready to go right out the gate from, you know, your completed charge, then life just pretty much sucks and you die. Yeah. Those, those combos aren't going to be executed by a single player. The problem with this game is that it's Steam Deck. Yeah. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Where's the other people you don't you don't have faith in? Uh, it's the other people. No, because I can communicate with you, and you usually have half a brain, but anybody else in pretty much any other game, kinda useless. That guy's mine. Fuck That's off. Fuck off! off. God damn it! So, so have you got friends that want to play, or...? 
Oh god, oh, fuck this. No, 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 no. All of my no. I should go back to the reaver. I was doing much better that class. I feel like some kidnapped. We have to double beam. I didn't realize that guy was hiding behind a wall and that close or that far away from me. This is Yeah, um We could definitely give it to Jason. Uh oh Christ. Okay, so you know what the problem is here? Is I'm about 80% sure that they're communicating. This yeah. My I didn't mean tonight, I'm just saying, like, you know, those people want to that I've got spare. Well, I mean, Brett, you wouldn't have to, like, play right now. Uh, this is, you know, for future. I, it wouldn't even necessarily be streams, it would just be, you know, hanging out and playing video games or whatever. Uh, I'm getting spotted. Fire hurt. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Damn, oh, hey, the vampire's on the dodge roll, too. It's actually not terrible. Yep. <laughs> I burned to death. But hey, yeah, that significantly boosted our chances here. Yeah. Just when you find somebody, I make mean, sure we've already lost a fucking match. But yeah. Just make sure that when you find somebody, you gangbang them. Um, I can s I feel like from a- From a balance standpoint, one of the things they really need to do is if you get flashbanged, they need to disable the damage indicator because that's a real easy way to stalk people while blinded. Yep. I've had it happen to me, and I've done it to plenty of people. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's- Beta. Well, that's what I'm saying, like, that's- Sort of just beta feedback right there. Yeah. yeah, I'm going back to the reaver. Oh, I mean, kidnap is cool and all, but it ain't my side. Alchemist here is the stalker. Wow. Well played, sir. Good hit. I need to find a human. I mean, these guys. Yep. I got burned, but whatever. Please don't let us lose both halves. <laughs> no! No, we're losing! I'm trying! I'm trying, I really tried. Come on. Come on. Damn I was it. so close. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you got one and then you died, so that loss was your fault. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got awarded an item.